Well, hello everyone, Dan Herr with Dan Herr Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am here on the Thompson River with my family. It is the middle of winter. I think it's January 2nd today and we're out looking for agates on the gravel bars of the Thompson River. Just out here having fun, enjoying life. So wish us luck and I hope you enjoy. Now the Thompson River here is historically low this year. Like it is crazy how low it is. So we have acres and acres and hundreds of acres of gravel bar to walk. And what we're doing is we're walking around with our eyes down looking for the clear translucent gemstone we call agate around here. And ideally what we really want to find, guys, what we really want to find is the carnelian agates. Those are agates that are yellow, orange, red, anywhere in that spectrum. And I see some other people out enjoying the warm winter day. Let's go see what we can find. And my first little agate. Nothing special though. Not even gonna pull out the close up on that. We'll find a good one for the close up. Alex found something. What'd you find? On orange rock. That is a piece of quartzite, so a type of quartz. Uh, our agates are usually gonna be a really textured surface or flat. Ooh, that is a beautiful agate. That is a beauty. I'm gonna get the close up camera for that one. And those are pieces of quartzite. Very cool. And here's the first nice one. Little bit of carnelian in it. That's the orange or red. And that's what we're really looking for here is the red carnelian agates. Well done, Alex. There's a little piece of agate there. And as I crouched down, I saw another little piece right there. When you're down closer to the ground, you can see these little pieces easier. Nothing spectacular. Moving on. Oh, Dana just said she found something. What'd you get? That is carnelian agate. Beautiful orange carnelian. Well done! Yep, little piece. And there's sort of a whitish blue one. I'll get the close up on that while it's still in place. Not the really nice orange that Dana got, but a nice little piece all the same. I think Alex may have found something. Whoa, very cool. Yes, that's a piece of basalt that has agate going through the whole thing. A little druzy agate. Really cool, Alex. Mm -hmm. Nice. There's one. A little agate. Nice little agate. Now, if anyone's familiar with the Thompson River around the Kamloops area, you're probably yelling at me right now or typing a comment as we speak saying, Dan, you should be looking for indigenous artifacts, arrowheads. They're all over the place on the Thompson River. And yes, they are. This is a place that you can find arrowheads, but it is not culturally appropriate to be out here hunting arrowheads. In fact, there's even laws against it. So if we find any on the bars here, yes, we'll take pictures. Yes, we'll show you, but we're not supposed to be here collecting them. And there are protocols, if you find them, of what you should do. Wow, look at the color of that agate. <laughs> beach glass. Beautiful piece of beach glass. Wouldn't that be neat if we could find agates like that? Are you enjoying the walk? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Can we find opal here? Opal. Opal, although it is the same mineral as agate, it's got a different structure, molecular structure inside, which makes it uh, very soft. In a river situation like this, they tend to get wa uh, worn away. So probably wouldn't find much in the way for opal down here. Where agates are hard, hard, hard. You find them, they stick around. Jade is hard. Jade is very hard. No jade on the Thompson River, but uh, very, very hard material. And it sticks around in rivers for sure. The Thompson flows into the Fraser, right? And the Fraser is, is the Fraser really the only river in BC that has jade? Though? No, up north there's a, quite a bit of jade, but down around here, yeah, the Fraser's are our best bet. Alex is just killing it. He's getting all the good agates. And yet another blue agate. No, it's just glass. That brings me to a great opportunity for today's geology lesson of the day. Agate, opal, quartz crystals, and yes, glass. 
they're all actually the same mineral, just a different internal structure. Agate, like we're looking for here, has an intertwined molecular structure that they're all locked together. All the molecules are sort of grabbing onto each other, making it a very, very tough mineral. Opal is a whole bunch of spheres of the silicon dioxide. Yes, that's the mineral, silicon dioxide. Little spheres of silicon dioxide that are sort of mashed together, but they don't hold on to each other. That's why it's such a soft mineral. Quartz crystals have all the molecules aligned perfectly so they attach on in a matrix making a crystal. And glass is just quartz that's been melted down. Usually they add stuff to it, but melted down and cast into glass. All silicon dioxide. There's today's geology lesson of the day. And there we go, silicon dioxide, known as agate. Look at that beautiful little chip that Alex just found. This might be the remnants of an indigenous uh, arrowhead maker. The chips that they chipped off while they were making arrowheads. Beautiful piece. I just heard a woo over here. It was more of a ooh. Ooh, look at that. That's the biggest of the day. Great sea maggot. Nicely done. Oh, and a brown agate. Okay, more glass. Now there's a large number of people that ask me every video, what's that worth? Or are you making money? Or the negative versions of the same. Anyhow, these aren't worth anything. These are fun. This is a great outing to spend time with my family in the outdoors, doing something we love and getting some exercise. No, these are not worth anything at all. Other than the value of finding nature's treasure. Not great, but piece of sea maggot tumble up beautifully. What'd you find? Crazy piece of quartz. Weird. Weird. And for once we're not talking about Evan. I'm being called back. I got too far ahead. Ooh, good. Very nice. Look at the banding. Oh, let's lick that. Ah! Nice banding in there. I don't think I want that back. Here, have my saliva. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I just found a good one. As Alex yelled that he found a good one. Let's look at mine first. Ooh, let's get the close up on it. Nice, and right beside it, I find another one. That was actually about a foot away, I just brought them in. That's nice. Twofer. Ah, definitely my best one of the day. What'd you find? What'd you find? Found a really dark one. Oh, oh, Alex. Wow. There's the find of the day. That is a red carnelian. Nice. That's great. You just had to show me up, eh? Yeah. After I find something good, you find something 10 times better? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you did. Thank you. You gotta come check this out, guys. This might be the carnelian of the day. They just glow. Absolutely red. We're almost back to the truck too. We've almost given up for the day because it's darn cold out here. And there's a beautiful carnelian agate. Well, let's get the close up on that. Just glows in the light. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick up the sound here, but it is insane the number of birds in those two trees, well, those, that grove there. It's just humming with tweets of birds. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, that truck is gonna feel so warm when we get back to it. It is cold out here. The carnelian? No. Nope. Well, we've made a complete circle now. We're back to the truck, but let's take some really good shots of all those agates we found. I'll put them right here in the video.
What a great day on the Thompson River. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, I hope I earned it today. A big thanks to everyone, especially my patrons. Until the next video, everyone. Bye. Bye.